Hi there, everybody. Well, wow, I'm going gaga again this year. It's the Salon Métier d'Art de Montréal, the Montreal Arts and Crafts Show, I guess, a rough translation. These are crafts and trades, people that are approved by the associations. None of this stuff is factory made overseas. It's made right here. And a lot of these people have their own workshops, uh, converted the garage into workshops or small boutiques around the Montreal area and the province. So this is the Salon Métier d'Art de Montréal. It's still the 22nd at Place Bonaventure. And um, see this stuff here? This is crazy. I'm going to turn this around a few seconds here. And um, so the 22nd, 11 to 9 every day, except till 6 o'clock on Sunday. So kind of easy hours. Check their website at chateaumitsidao.ca, uh, uh, I believe it is. And uh, hi there, Linda. And uh, this is amazing here, the stuff. I just, uh, I can't believe every year it's, uh, uh, it's my first time last year, and I went nuts here, and uh, it's just amazing here. So I'm just going to turn this around and start doing the tour here. Uh, maybe five, six, seven minutes or I get carried away here. So this is some of the woodworking. What's uh, the, some of the stuff here is incredible. This is uh, great. Look at this stuff here. It's fantastic. So there's a lot of uh, ceramic makers, a lot of jewelry makers, uh, fine necklaces and earrings, uh, pottery makers, like sort of fine dishware. There's fine scented soaps. Look at this here. This is uh, too much here. This is stuff, like I said, made by uh, people's hands. A uh, lot of uh, hats and toques and those sort of things. And uh, I'll try and stop uh, for a brief few seconds. At some of the kiosks here. Here's some jewelry here. That's a... Uh, So this is their uh, 65th edition, I believe. Uh, 65th, 65th, 66. Salon Mitzidal is a, it's a council. Uh, you see these trade people are registered. The Conseil de Mitzidal de Quebec. So this is uh, kind of certified work, you know. And uh, look at these fine scented soaps. No, it's not fudge. Look at this. Look at this, people. Like that. Here's look at this woodwork, making your own lamps. This is their last uh, participation at this show here. Look at his lamps, eh? Look at this work. I mean, you and I <laughs> couldn't probably figure out doing this here, where to start. Um, oh, look, look at this. I, I saw this one already. So I'm hitting the rows I've already kind of hit. Look at this. <laughs> Follow me here. Look at this. Look at this, Sable. I don't know what material this is. This is some sort of a some sort of a felt material. That's crazy here. There's someone that makes mugs and uh, pottery and dishes. I mean, this is you can't get anything here if you want to give something special to give someone like your boss, maybe. Uh, someone is into uh, collections of certain items. I got a place for you here soon here. Look at this stuff here. Look at this. A lot of stuff for kids here. Or, uh, if you want to just adorn a kid's playroom and their shelf. Here's a nice jewelry here. Love this jewelry here. This is amazing. This is crazy. Félicitations. On est direct. The Mont de Bouragada. I can't believe some people make these lamps here. I guess they source all the special material and uh, make it themselves here. Uh, look at these, uh, this hat maker here. Where's my kiosk? I saw something really wild here before. Um, here's a ceramic maker. That's a nice ceramics. Fine little cups of tea. What you like drinking tea out of these fine little three ounce cups? I saw this boutique here. Oh yeah, here we go. This guy makes pens. Look at this. Special pens. So this is for your boss, for his office. Or maybe for your MP in Verdun, the Minister of Justice. 
for his office. Look at this. This is incredible here. The pen maker. She told, told me she told us he sources different types of uh, uh, metal, uh, aluminum and stuff like that. And this makes those pens. Uh, another ceramic dish maker, pots. Special collection for your dining room. Uh, handmade stuff, yeah. You're right, uh, handmade gifts are made more special because it came from someone that put in the effort and time. Um, okay, look, look at this. Yeah, here's a, I just saw this guy before. This guy makes like special tubes for toothpaste, uh, stir sticks, uh, toothbrushes. Uh, look at this, look at this, Sable. This is like homemade. What is that, a back scratcher? <laughs> look at this. Hey, look at Oh, there, there's your bathroom tissue holder. If you want a little uh, collection for your mantelpiece, a little bowling set here. Uh, a doorstop. Okay, so they have the names of some of the product. This is a doorstop. Look at that. Uh, corkscrew. Uh, clips for your paper. Yeah, paper clips. There you go. Wine cork. Yeah, you got to replace your wine cork <laughs> that you took out for your wine bottle here. Oh, fridge magnets. Those are always popular here. And fridge is your fridge magnets. I mean, I just can't fathom the talent. Uh, the talent and uh, look at this lovely hat. Sir. Okay, ladies, you got some special hats to wear for the winter. Only Zidak to judge for this day. So, son, I just got some. What's that to be? So she's making she's making something right now. Okay. Qu'est-ce que tu fais? Un uh, gant ou? Un uh, uh, bot de Noël. Eh? Okay. She's making a Christmas sock. Christmas stockings. Bon, c'est ça. So somebody at work right now. Men now au travail. Moi, moi non, ça. C'est quoi? Où est-ce que tu es? Où? Ah oui? Ok. Iceland, tu dis quoi? Icelandic uh, sheep. Ok, bouton. Yes, ok. So, this is Icelandic sheep. Look at the stuff. Ladies, keep your head warm for the winter. <laughs> uh, what else can I find here? Some gems in the sand. Look at these slippers. Are those hats real fur hats? I don't know. I'm not here to judge anybody, Tammy. I'm just here to, uh, uh, I'm not PETA or any of those uh, animal rights groups, to be honest. Not that I care or don't care, but I'm not here for that. Um, it looks good to me, so <laughs> looks good to me. I do own a fur coat, by the way, at home. Haven't worn it in 20 years. <laughs> Someone gave it to me and I took it. Muskrat, combination of muskrat and bobcat, actually. Okay, maybe I'll wear it for cause of controversy one time. I just might do that. Anyway, so here's uh, making uh, woodwork, making something. It looks like uh, some sort of uh, different instruments. Uh, kind of cool. For the musician lover in all of you. Here's a handbag maker. I don't know, really cool. So a lot of the stuff, obviously, it's, it's not factory made. Obviously, here it's, it's a lot of the, uh, they keep your design and they make special, unique uh, collections, kind of, kind of more personal. And uh, some of them, they could put the recipient's name on some of the products. So like a purse, if she has her name, and I'm told she could put a person's name on the other side of the purse. And uh, what else we have here? Nice. Uh... Oh, shoemaker. Kind of cool. Leather, leather, leather worker. What else we have? Magnetic objects. More magnetic objects. Wow. 
I guess you can put stuff on your fridge and your stove and your microwave, eh? Actually, I got some stuff in my microwave, too. <laughs> some of those magnetic things. What else? What else? What else? What else we got here? I'm in a row. I haven't been to yet. Oh, wow. Look at this stuff. Is that called Tiffany or something? <laughs> what a beautiful lamp. Wow. I was amazed last year. Now I'm more amazed this year. <laughs> so, oh, this is a, uh, these are watches, I guess, or bracelets? No, bracelets, yeah. Uh, bracelets and earrings and, wow, that's kind of really out of sight. Insane. By the way, your question, Tammy, before was Icelandic. A sheep, so it wasn't fur per se, as standard fur. It was uh, those hats were Icelandic sheep. Bouton Islande. What bouteille de l'eau? Oh, yeah, water carrier. Okay, carry your water bottle. I didn't know someone made stuff for water bottles. Kind of cool here. Small little evening night purses here. Some of them, some of them are more than evening light purse, but uh, you don't need to uh, carry the kitchen fridge with you, like my mother used to say. <laughs> so I guess we're going to end it off here. i got to keep these things at a certain limit now. Um, because as you know, I download and upload to YouTube after all these clips. There's a 15-minute limit and... Uh, after 50 minutes, we got to keep punching in our phone numbers and IDs all the time. So, at a certain point where you want to keep not too long, either we're not talking an interview with Elton John or Paul McCartney. So I'm just going to end it off here. If I could find one more, knock your socks off kiosk. <laughs> more pottery. This will make a nice bowl. Can I use this for as a salad bowl? Makes nice salad bowls, yeah. <laughs> More jewelry here. Jewelry seems to be in. Okay, so let's let, let's end it off here. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Uh, Chertsey, Quebec. So that's uh, Chertsey's, what, in the Eastern Townships? I haven't been there. I know where it is, but I haven't been there. Oh, okay, Tommy, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, no, because I had some remarks on some other posts recently about the first stuff and all that stuff, Canada Goose. The, the, yeah, no, that hat you saw before, the one that was making the Christmas sock, that's an Icelandic sheep, actually. Um, kind of, I'm, I'm not sure if I'd mentioned it previously. Uh, and if Iceland, they keep their the stuff with their animals, are very ethical, by the way. Thought I'd mention it. Okay, um, so look at this stuff. Oh, that's amazing. I think I need a new water set anyway at home. Water there. This looks like a courthouse, you know. You got the pitcher of water there with the mugs. <laughs> Judge pours his water. These people were here last year for you into uh, uh, art, and you got these uh, certain art colors at home. You buy art, and it would match up with your uh, your. Um, what kind of, what would I call this? Like, what do I know, ladies? Some sort of a, a lounging, evening lounging gown or something at night? <laughs> this is a... Oh, scarves, yeah. Hula, scarves. What do I know? Love this color, eh? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going nuts, sir. <laughs> I'm looking one way and the phone's going the other way. Oh, pewter, yeah. We we haven't hit the pewter department yet. <laughs> pewter is something that's really nice. You know, you, you don't see too often. It's not like a household material, but uh, uh, but it's very uh, nice, unique uh, 
This is crazy. Oh, she's got a full thing. So I'm going to end it off here before I get carried away here. So this gives you an idea of what's going on here. So it's the Salon Métis du Québec, 65th edition. Um, till the 22nd, so it's almost two weeks. And uh, 11 to 9, except till Sunday, 11 to 6, so easy hours. Some of these shows, they have different hours from Friday during the week and Saturdays and Sundays. And, uh, wow, look at this. This is for my uh, bottle of Gallo Rosé wine I have at home. I could use that. Shilt. Look at that. One more hat, Tammy. <laughs> Look at this. Jibu. Uh, so these people were at the, the uh, Nutcracker market there the last few, last week, so they're here also. Back to my here. Okay, so that's it. 65th edition, Salon de Métis Routes, Quebec, Place Bonaventure. Take the metro, three bucks for your coat if you want a cloakroom. Uh, I'm spoiled because at the Pedro Cohen Greta Media, guys, we get our uh, cloakroom in the VIP salon. <laughs> anyway, uh, side dish, I was a side dish. So it's a, uh, what can I tell you? It's a perfect place for that. It's a unique gift uh, for that special occasion, a special person, boss, someone going away or something uh, to remember you by. All sorts of unique reasons to. Uh, so this is that pewter thing. I love this. This is crazy. Okay, so that's it. And uh, they can now to take some pictures and uh, try to figure out what to post. And uh, that's it. I'm speechless. <laughs> take care. Bye bye. And uh, again, uh, stay tuned. Next week is some stuff really good for the ladies or for the gents who want to treat your ladies uh, as you uh, uh, get yourself all dolled up and pretty for the Christmas and New Year's parties, advanced social parties. Um, two posts next week. One's on a retail business who has expanded and removed and moved and expanded their location uh, well, in the past year. I finally got to take the pictures and talk to the people. And the other one is uh, on a person's trade who works in a business here in the southwest in La Salle, you might say. And uh, Amazing stuff you can do with your hair, ladies. <laughs> if you're in need of some change or major work, so that's next week. So it's kind of uh, fits the, the occasion of uh, getting all uh, prettied up, you might say. Guys, too, uh, in both situations um, for the um, season. And the week after, which will be the week, I guess, of 16, 17, 18. Uh, pictures are all taken. It's our, our annual, it's coming an annual thing. More expanded this year. I went crazy and carried away this year. As, he, as I call it, Bobby D's Christmas trees, uh, lighting, illuminations, decorations, everything. So uh, it's going to be actually two or three parts, and that'll be the week after. Uh, don't forget our draws coming up around the 15th, 16th for the Christmas card draw. There's actually uh, uh, 10, 11 people this year in the uh, in the higher end in the 50 card draw. So uh, that's great. So. Um, so that will be on around the 15th, 16th. So the post next week, the two posts, two and three entry credits will go towards the Christmas card draw. And the week after with the Christmas tree lights business, that will go into the next draw, which will be for the Easter draw. Easter is what, end of March, early this year, early April. And uh, so we're going to give you three credit entry credits for each post you comment and share on to get it started for the Easter draw. That's on the uh, week of the, like, like I said, the uh, 17, 18 there. Probably about three posts, three or four, depends how I do it. Um, so you get a chance to at least probably pick up around nine entries right away towards the Easter draw. Okay, so that's about it. And, uh, and after that, we'll kind of take a break until January. Is a car show coming up, of course. And the love show, seven on the more. And they're on separate kind of weekends this year, so be great to uh, follow up that'll be in january and uh any of the other surprises that come up my way so some stuff is planned and some stuff is spontaneous and some stuff we get immediate quite like the city hall illuminations this week <laughs> it happens anyway okay take care and have fun don't work too hard and happy shopping if you come down here admission is free by the way like the uh, nutcracker uh, 
market, which is on till Sunday. They're both free. Obviously, bring yourself some change if you want to buy stuff. And a lot of these people use cash only. Not all of them be prepared. Not all of them I see have the uh, machines because these are not big businesses. So uh, make sure you bring yourself some cash at least to uh, cover yourself if you want to buy something. Okay, take care and uh, have fun. Happy shopping.